Hello and welcome to Century Park Arena, which I think is White Hart Lane, where the Tottenham Hotspurs will today be taking on the Swindon Town Swoodley Poopers in the FA Cup. This is a big game for us. The FA Cup is our competition. We're already out of Europe. I don't want to talk about it. So we need to win this one um, because we've only have, we only have one trophy so far, I will remind you, and that trophy is, of course, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> the... Uh, Carlin Cup or Capital One Cup or whatever the hell they call it now. Um, it's, a, you know, it's a trophy, but it's not the most important trophy. The FA Cup, that matters. It's important. It's all of England, um, and, uh, and it's ours. It's been ours three times, and we want to win it again. So um, today I'm going to talk about time management, how, to, how I manage my time and my, my recommendations for time management. Um, Chris Mumple is our referee. You just saw uh, other John Green not shaking his hand. Quick update on the squad. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. We're not starting our top 11 because we have a chance to win the Barclays Premier League title. And it's very hard, you know, w w to, to at the end of the season here to keep everybody fit and healthy and rested. So we put a couple guys on the bench. We got Fitz Hall and Ginger Rampage there in the back. We got Dima Goldrelocks with other John Green up front. I love Dima Goldrelocks, though. He has a fantastic, beautiful head that he loves to score with. Um, he fits in with the Swoodley Pooper style um, very well. And he's got beautiful red boots because he bleeds Swindon red. So I feel good about him. So I'm, I'm confident. Oh, it almost started brilliantly. Um, but we'll see how it goes. So how do I manage my time? Poorly. Um, in a word, that's my answer. I'm not very good at this. But, um, you know, I do a lot of stuff. Um, and most of it I really enjoy. Oh, it's disappointing. Um, uh, I write books and I make video blogs and I uh, help run DFTBA records and I help run VidCon and I'm also a semi-professional video game player uh, which is extremely time consuming because I got to spend you know at least at least 20 or 30 hours a week just on my video game skills to try to keep up to the level of FIFA um, competency that you guys expect so that I'm doing all the skill moves and I'm not making unnecessary slide tackles or anything like that oh <laughs> I mean, he founded Netscape, he became one of the greatest venture capitalists in Silicon Valley, and then he moved to Swindon and became a beautiful, beautiful goalkeeper. Oh, Mark Anderson. He's my hero. Um, so, uh, the first way I manage my time is by never playing video games unless I am recording them for the Swindon Town Swoodley Poopers. Uh, I, I, um, that's why I'm so bad at this game. Or, I mean, also because I just lack talent at uh, video games. But... Um, yeah, it is one of the reasons I'm so bad at this game. Oh, come on. To, maybe to Demon Goldrelocks! Oh! I was ready to sink. Oh, okay. We've got a corner. This is an incredibly awkward position to take a corner from. I, I kicked it too hard. Leroy Williamson, that was too hard! Hmm. Saved. Um. So, the, um... For me, the key to time management, uh, you know, but the, the thing that all of my jobs have in common is that I do them at home and that there's really no one to tell me to do them. Um, you know, if obviously if I don't make a Vlogbrothers video, I get punished and getting punished sucks. But there's, you know, there's no, um, you know, particularly when I was starting things out, there was no outside impetus to, to do anything. Um, so, you know, I had a day job, but I wrote at night and on the weekends, and that does require a certain amount of discipline and my my feeling had always been that like I wasn't going to be the best writer, but if I was just an extremely hardworking writer, that I might um, you know I might might be okay. Um, and I think that has in many ways served me well, but in other ways, it's you know that's all fine and good up to a point. But when you um, when you're never not working, uh, you do begin to question like what is the the point of everything. Um, Oh, and, you know, like, what's the point of doing all of this work if I, if it hurts my relationships and it hurts my, um, you know, uh, yeah. So for me, the real, the real time management question is not so much how do you manage, um, to do the, oh, in slow motion, what just happened? I don't even... Fahey, we don't really have a song for you. I guess. I mean, I. I uh, that's the song. 
Fahey, out of nothing. I mean, he just he just headed the ball in the slowest of slow motions into the net, and it's one nil Swindon. Oh, I love Fahey. He is one of my favorite players. I don't know why I don't have a song about him though. Um, it's because he never scores. That's why. I do know why I don't have a song about him. Because you don't really need a song for Fahey because he's not a scorer. He's one of those. He's like a Lucas. Oh, Team at Goldry locks it's two nil. What is it? air? Oh. Do the robot. Do the robot. He's big. He's red. He's found the perfect bed. D. McGoldrylocks. D. McGoldrylocks. He's big. He's red. He's found the perfect bed. D. McGoldrylocks. D. McGoldrylocks. Um, so the main way that uh, that I manage the main like the main time management thing for me is balancing like life and work, uh, particularly when you have the kind of work that I have, which uh, it doesn't really end. Like it's not like um, I'm at work or I'm not at work. Um, and even when I had a day job, you know, I, I still thought of writing as work, even though it wasn't something that brought me income. What? This is a stupid game, and I hate it. How are these things happening? Um, Pavluchenko scored from 72 yards away after Mark Anderson made several saves from, like, six inches away. I don't, I don't understand. But I, 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 this, is, this, is, this is bananas. Um, but it's, this is FA Cup football at its best, complete with me passing to the other team. So, um, you know, even if, even if something doesn't bring you income, it can still be work. Uh, and my challenge has always been that, um, to balance work stuff and life stuff, um, to, to do the projects that I want to do that are work projects, but to also have, you know, the relationships that are, to, to maintain the relationships that are important to me and that, like, give me the energy. Oh, you had an empty net, sir. That give me the energy that I need to do the work that I, that I want to do. Um, and I'm not very good at managing that, to be totally honest with you. Uh, so I work a lot at night, even though I wish I didn't, and I don't, um, you know, I, like, I travel too much. Um, you know, I, I'm, I, I travel more, the last three, each of the last three years I've traveled more than 100 days, which means that, means that I've missed almost 30% of Henry's life, um, so far, and, uh, yeah. So I'm not I'm not very good at that, but I am pretty good at managing my time in the sense of um, making sure that I'm uh, being productive when I want to be productive. Like uh, uh, the, the 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 two keys for, to me uh, for that are being uh, forgiving to yourself, um, but not too forgiving. Um, so understanding that you're not always going to be productive, and that sometimes Tumblr is work. Uh, sometimes Tumblr is a way of, is an idea generation engine, or Reddit is an idea generation engine. Um, and that, you know, like brains, brains need breaks too. Um, but obviously then, then the, the other side of that coin is that you can't be so forgiving of yourself that you never do anything but tumble down Tumblr. Oh, Dima Goldilocks! Oh! It could have been, but it wasn't. Oh, because it is an unjust world in which we live. All right. And then the, the, um, uh, the second thing is, is, for me, is, is making arbitrary... Uh, deadlines and sticking to them as if they were real and they mattered. Um, so I like to make goals for myself, and then I like to achieve those goals. Even though those goals may not be real to anyone other than me, I still like achieving them. Um, and that's a big part of how I, um, you know, kind of keep keep going and keep making stuff is that every year I make a list of goals, not really resolutions as such, but more a list of like things that I want to try to accomplish or work on. And, um, and I try to do that. So that's how I finished a draft of, you know, my first book looking for Alaska. And, um, and I, I, I try to pretty carefully plot out the time that I think it's going to take and then, um, take that time. Um, you know, I find that, that if you are actually working on things instead of worrying about working on them, uh, you, they don't, you know, they, they go pretty fast and they aren't nearly as intimidating. Um, so, uh, hold on, I have to try to keep this guy from scoring. So that's, I mean, that, that's my, oh, thank God for Mark Anderson. That's my big, that's been my biggest experience is that um, when I stick to my deadlines and I, uh, give myself permission to, you know, play around a little bit and um, and have fun kind of within my day, um, then I get a lot more work done in the end. But I still, you know, I still feel like I don't do as much work as I'd like to when I'm 
like quote unquote at work, which for instance right now, like right now I'm being super productive. Like I can't play this Swoodley Poopers game any faster than I'm playing it. But sometimes I feel like I don't get things done as quickly as I would like. It's gotta be. I waited perfectly, D McGoldrelux, with his second goal of the game. He's big, he's red, and after too cold and too hot, he disappeared into the uh, he disappeared there into um into the stadium, but I'm sure he's fine. He's big, he's red, he's found the perfect bed. D. McGoldrelux, D. McGoldrelux, his second goal. I told you D. McGoldrelux was a smart start today. No one believed me. Everyone was like, no, you need John Green and John Green up front. Well, John Green needed a rest, and I knew it. I felt it. I am a great football manager. Oh, someone should give me a job. Maybe Swindon needs a manager. Go, go, boys, go. Why not get D. McGoldrelux a little bit of a hat trick? That's a foul. That's a foul, and it hurt my feelings. No? No foul? Felt like one. We had a really good run there, and then we lost it. We, we could have. We had a bunch of open space, and I didn't make the pass I should have made. Um, D. McGoldrelux, go far post. Far post. I want it! I want it for you! And you got it! Your first hat trick of your entire career! D. McGoldrelux, he's big! He's red! He's found the perfect bed! D. McGoldrelux, D. McGoldrelux, this is like old school Swindentown Swindle Pooper football where we do nothing but score all day. This is fantastic! Let's go get 10 of them! Of course, uh, goal differential doesn't matter in the FA Cup. If only this were happening in the league! Oh, that would be amazing! That would be so awesome. Anyway, um,. Sometimes I feel like I'm not as productive as I should be, and I get frustrated with myself. But then the other thing that it, that it helps me is that, like, in general in life, I have found that if you are forgiving of yourself, you are going to be a lot happier than if you are really mean to yourself. Like, being mean to yourself doesn't actually result in you being more productive. It just results in you feeling bad about yourself, which leads to this, like, cycle of, like, shame and misery and unhappiness. And, um... That doesn't make me more productive. It just makes me hate myself, which isn't productive at all. So, um, you know, when I'm, when I'm doing that and I say, like, oh, I don't feel like I've been productive at all, it's really helpful for me to, to list some of the things that I have done, even if they're small things. Um, so I remember, like, one year I hardly got any writing done and I was really mad at myself. And, but then I remembered, like, I wrote, a, I wrote the screenplay. I was working on the screenplay for Paper Towns, and, like, I learned that I suck at screenplays. And, like, that's, you know, an unfortunate thing in some ways. Um, like, I wish I didn't suck at screenplays. I wish I hadn't spent a year learning that I suck at something. But, like, I had to spend that, I, I, you know, I was working. I was just working on something it turned out I wasn't very good at. But you don't learn that until you do it. Um, and so, you know, I try to, like, I, 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 you know, for me, ultimately... Um, time management is a little bit about prioritization, but it's a lot about, you know, wanting to feel at the end of the day like I did something. Um, it doesn't have to have been something huge, just something. And, um, uh, you know, so that I can kind of go to bed without that feeling of, of dread in my stomach. If I can think of, like, one thing that I did, then that, that, feeling, of, uh, that feeling of dread, at least for me, dissipates. So I need Mark Anderson. It doesn't matter, even if you had scored, because I'm up for... One. Old school swoodly poopers. Wouldn't it be great if they were all like this and it was just a gold bonanza every week? You know? Every Monday and Wednesday, Friday, you just had a gajillion goals. Look at look at Dima Goldilocks. He's making another fantastic run. He didn't get a hold of that one, but I mean the guy had a great, great game. And look at our opponents, Neil in shame. D. McGoldrelux, D. McGoldrelux, D. McGoldrelux, Fahey, and they give thanks in Swindon. We're headed forward in the FA Cup. Congratulations, boys. Best wishes.